So I'm sure a lot of you have tried to learn guitar in the past, and it's a noble endeavor. You should keep on trying. But if you just want to get into playing some music, um, you could always make you one of these. This is called a bass guitar. If you recall the band Presidents of the United States of America from the 90s, um, I do because I was a teenager in the 90s, they had a bass guitar and a git bass. So essentially, they had a guitar with two bass strings, and they had a guitar with three guitar strings. They had five strings total in the entire band. Well, I decided that I wanted to make me a bass guitar. As you can see, two bass strings, not a whole lot to it, very simple, and they're tuned in fifths. Um, I know a lot of folks don't know much about music theory, neither do I. Most instruments are tuned in fourths. So normally if I wanted to play a power chord, I would fret a note on the thickest string, and I would go down to the string underneath, and I would make my power chord here. But as you can as you can hear, that doesn't sound really good on here because this is tuned in fifths, meaning that if I just mash my meat paw, just mash my finger across there. And yeah, you can do that with six strings too, but you know, two strings are even easier. And uh, you know, some people just want to play music and uh, aren't terribly good with six strings. I'm not. I've played bass in the past. I can, you know, sort of manage on four strings. Four strings is about the limit. Uh, anything above that, and I, I just start getting clumsy, and I, I can't really, uh, I can't really do much other than pick out a few little lead riffs and things like that. So today, I wanted to introduce you to the bass guitar. Anyone can pick up a bass guitar and in an hour tops be playing quite a few songs. So, oops. I don't have my amp very loud. I'm hoping that it sounds right on the video. Uh, if it doesn't, I apologize. I will be making more of these videos. I'm going to basically be running a little Tumblr blog that's going to have a bunch of bass guitar tabs on them. And the cool thing is, any instrument tuned in fifths, so whether it's bass guitar, or a single string instrument, or say a three string cigar box guitar that's tuned to open, uh, to, to an open tuning, uh, or even a six string guitar that's tuned to open tuning, you will be able to apply these tabs to. They're very simple renditions of songs that are popular that, you know, will kind of just, just get you started playing music. Link's right here, and of course it's in the description as well. Um, if you want to make you a bass guitar, it's real simple. Rip off all your strings, make sure and rip off most of the tuners because they will rattle, and uh, just set you up two bass strings in the middle. You don't, they don't have to even be bass strings. They can be guitar strings. Um, you can go thin gauge if you want something bright. You can go thicker gauge if you want something that's heavy. But, you know, that's what the presidents did. They used two of the lighter gauge bass strings, and that's what I did on this. So just to show you how easy it is to get started with the bass guitar, um, I have never played We Will Rock You uh, ever on any instrument. Uh, I've never even tried the bass line, uh, but I'm going to try it right now. And I've just got some tabs kind of written down here. And uh, again, if you want these tabs, just go to the link. So I'm going to set this over here. I am playing through a simple crate bass amp and a Behringer Superfuzz SF300 uh, distortion pedal. Here's my clean tone. Superfuzz. So let's see if I can just play this. I've never played it before. So, uh, and again, I'm not a great player, so I might mess up a little bit. Uh, I may cut that out or I may not. It's pretty easy. So it's nine, eight, six, four, six, 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 six. Couldn't be any easier to play. And that's the first time I've ever tried to play We Will Rock You. So now I'm going to look over here at my little piece of paper and see if I can strum out the Imperial March from Star Wars. It's 555-085-085. Uh, I got lost. Ah. 
my bass guitar is tuned D, A, but any tuning in fifths will work. So I'm going to play that same melody, but just on the A string. super lazy like me, or you just like playing in an unusual tuning, you can even write your note names on the side of the neck. And you might be wondering, why do I tune D A? Well, the simple fact is, I like to play most things in the key of D uh, for a, a very sort of practical reason, and that is that because if you tune your, your thickest string to D, if your top string is D, well, technically it's the bottom string because guitars are weird, but uh, the string closest to you, your thickest string, if you tune it to D, then that means that pretty much every note on your fretboard that has a dot is a whole note and not a sharp. So you don't have to worry about where those notes are as much. So for me, I've only got two notes, and that's E and C up to the up to the 12th fret, those are the only ones that are whole notes and are not on a dot. Everything else, F, G, A, B, C, B, are all right there on my dots, and of course you've got your dot on the top as well. Because we may not all tune our instruments the same, on the tumbler where I'm putting all these tabs, I also made sure to include the notes, so that if you did like me, and you just marked your notes on the side of your neck, you can also play along to them just by playing the notes. Just, again, barring this chord. It's real simple. Just mash your finger across those frets. Make sure and hold both strings. And that's an F. That's an F chord. It's an open-ended F power chord. So now I'm actually looking on the little tumbler that I made, uh, bass guitar tabs, and I'm going to try uh, Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water. I do think I have played this before. I've played it on bass for sure, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so it's uh, 035, 0365, 03530. So let's see, I can barely see that from over here, so you'll see me looking off to the side, but I'm going to go ahead and play it. First try. Now just on the D string. Just on the A string. So again, these tabs will work on a single string instrument, two string instrument, they'll work on a three string instrument. If it's if they're all open tuned, it's, it's going to all be the same. You're going to mash your finger across however many strings you have, and that's the chord you're going to play, because your chord is essentially determined, in an open tuning, your chord is determined by the note at your thickest string. That's a G. That's an F. A. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the fretboard, so... So that's going to complete my little introduction to the bass guitar, with the exception of one thing. This is actually not my only bass guitar. I actually have another one. But the other one is a little different, because it's not made out of a guitar. It's made out of a bass. I also made this one quite different, because normally you would always put your thickest gauge string. Bear with me while I plug this in. Normally, you would always put your thickest gauge string higher up, facing you. Technically, it's the bottom of the neck. Again, guitars are weird. Um, but I strung them up differently. I strung it up reverse. So I've actually got a thinner gauge string with the thicker gauge string down here. 
The reason I do that is because when you're strumming, if you strum down, which most of the time you strum down, if you notice, I play with a thumb pick. Um, it's something I picked up playing bass because I like to be able to... I like to be able to play with my fingers, but then also be able to strum uh, with a pick. So, by doing this, I am strumming down and I'm getting the sort of brighter note first, but I'm still getting the same chord. Um, so it's still going to be determined by the, the thickest string. So if I'm strumming a D, it's still going to be a D. It's just that it's going to start off with a brighter note. It's a very subtle difference. I think I've heard it referred to as uh, like Nashville stringing or something like that because I, I think in some forms of country music they'll put lighter gauge strings towards the top to give it a brighter kind of jangly sound. So again, this this thing, this is a Johnson by Axel bass guitar that I just strung up with two. These are actually piccolo bass strings, meaning that they're actually guitar strings. So this is the thickest and second thickest guitar string. So we're gonna play that same riff, but now on the, the Freak Show weird Nashville strung upside down thing. <laughs> Got a little different sound. It's also got some rattle because I've still got the tuners on there and they're kind of rattling around. Uh, if I was going to keep it like this, then I would definitely be taking those off because I don't want that sound all the time. But uh, I went ahead and kept them on. Let's try the uh, other ones that I had. Uh, let's see, We Will Rock You. Cop car. Now that, now that the sirens have faded into the distance. Again, this would sound better if I had my amp up louder, but um, I'm trying not to make too much of a rocket in my tiny little neighborhood. So, um, sorry. Again, that's nine, eight, six, four, six, 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 six. And I was also playing, uh, oh, the Vader March, yeah. Let's try that out. Oh, I jumped to a seven instead of that. Jumped to a six instead of a eight. I kind of missed. Again. Not a great guitarist, um, not even a very great bassist. And then I jumped uh, from uh, 8 to 7, because my brain's not working properly. So I hope you've enjoyed the video on the bass guitars. Uh, keep a lookout on the blog for more tabs.